Hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. I've been working hard and I'm really tired. I had two of my flock drop dead. A 19 year old and also a 69 year old drop dead. And we found out that they have bacterial pneumonia. Now Hubble's cat, go check out his video, showed this. A lot of people don't understand this. It's a silent killer. You feel tired, loopy, and stuff. I've been around a lot of diseased people, so I'm taking my precaution. Next week, I'm doing my blood test. I talked to my doctor over the phone, and I'm going to get tested for bacterial pneumonia. Okay, because I'm in that category. I'm a lot older than most people. I have physical damage. I have type 1 diabetes. Okay. Uh, it's not fun, folks. And then I have to be careful because I just had surgery in January. So my immune system is kind of iffy. Also, I've been feeling tired. Okay, main portion of this video is why Uncle Alan has paracord. All right. And I carry a few things around my neck. I carry about five things around my neck. When everything gets a little hot, kind of hinky or weird, I carry it when I'm asleep, when I'm walking around and stuff. Normally, number one thing I carry is a Swiss Army knife. All right, and I don't have the little sparking device, but this is a multi-tool, lightweight, and it'll be on on me. Okay. Number two, I'll carry a document bag. It's about the size of a small wallet. Lays flat against my chest. It'll have some cash. It'll have some kind of ID. It'll have a black credit card. And a UBI stick. Uh, UBS stick, sorry. All right. That's always with me. I don't trust people. I don't trust anyone. Number three, a wristwatch. Now again... I have it on my cord, normally be on my wrist, but if I'm busy or running or doing anything or asleep, it's going to be around my neck on a paracord. Now, some dumbass out there will say, well, somebody's going to strangle you with your paracord. No, I'm going to beat them to a bloody pole. A lot of you don't know what this is. This is a breakaway thing, Okay. My paracord's tied on this. I have to be really careful. These break. All right? It'll hold my paracord. And if anybody, like, I'm going to choke you with it, it's going to fall in their hands. And then uh, Uncle Al's going to beat the living hell out of them. All right? It happened to me twice. That's why I invest always into these breakaway things for paracord. If you're going to hang something around your neck, you have that. All right, normally it's long enough to fit into a shirt pocket, the paracord, so I can carry it safely and it's not bouncing off my chest. The other thing is I'll carry some kind of signal device. All right, either a really, if you see that, 120 decibel tornado whistle. I'll carry one of these because you can hear them anywhere. All right. There's a problem with these. I keep telling them. The, if you're in a chopper and they can't see you and you're blowing your brains out with one of these, you're stupid as hell. All right. This is good when you're doing it for night. All right. Or if you're in a fine space, works wonders. Jam pop up. Okay. The other thing. Yeah, I hate days like this. Yeah. Let's see. The other thing is, I'll carry a signal mirror. All right. These are all my small ones, and I have a little um, uh, what you might call keychain loop. Fit these fairly easy, and this will go next to my whistle, or I'll just carry that. All right. Last thing I'll carry is a compass. 
All right, a good one. All right, clear, flat. I could do, what's my car? Orienteering, stuff like that. Fairly easy. They, they're on sale on Amazon. There are a lot of good ones. I had a whole bunch of them, but I can't find one because my nephew probably took it. Or my grandnephew. They're camping in Yosemite. We're going into the woods. Don't come back. All right. Those are the five things I carry around my neck. If you're going to carry stuff around the neck, make sure you have a breakaway clip so you don't get strangled with it. This is common sense. Grow a garden. Number one. Don't want to starve. I don't want to see people eating other people. Save America. Go check out the Vineyard Checks this Sunday. Help them. Support them. Show your garden. Show the survival seeds. I'm kind of tired. I got to get ready for the summer of love. <coughs> Number two. Learn how to store, process, and put away your food. Learn how to stockpile. A lot of people, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Number three, get a bike. Stop showing the e-bikes. There's 2,000 of them rusting away in Chicago. Why? They all froze up during the winter. Same with those stupid SUVs, EVs. They're you know, nobody wants them. All right, get a bike and spare tires. Saw the ones. I swear to God, no one ever watches my program. All right, remember it's 2024 reality check time. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. I can't remember what the hell was I also saying. God bless and good luck, and I'll be seeing you.